I'm Dr. David Wang from Short Hills Design. And in this video, I'm going to share with you our marketing agency's ClickUp layouts, our ClickUp statuses, and our ClickUp basic task workflow. So hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. In this first video, we're gonna talk about our layouts. The key for the layouts is going to be our assignee, DD is due dates, ST status, C is client GMB, which is a custom field, comments and lists. And this is how our agency does it. I'm gonna switch in a moment to ClickUp to show you how we do this, but I felt that giving you a sheet to see an overview of how it works would be a little bit easier. So let's head into ClickUp and I'll show you exactly what we do. So let's take a look at our first folder. So our first folder is gonna serve as the project folder itself in that this, should, this would be client A. And then we might have another folder, client B, client C, client D. So the folder level is going to tell me everything I have to know about the current status of just this project. So if you look over here, what fields do we have? The fields we have in our folder are the assignee, the due date, the status, and the client. Client GMB is a custom field that I made, and we do have the name of the client there because we're gonna to wanna to sort by that later. When I look at an overview of the space, I'm gonna to wanna to see which client is what, because I wanna be able to sort by client at some point. So right now, this, this isn't very helpful. This just shows me the entire process, and that's not what I wanna see. The nitty gritty is gonna get done here within the list view. So I, here I have status, I have the collapse all, but what I really wanna do is I wanna filter this. And in our agency, and you'll learn more about this in a later video when you look at how our workflow works, our task workflow, I have a filter for the GMB folder. And what this is gonna show me on this project is I'm just gonna see when the due date is set for any due date and it's assigned. In our agency, if an item is assigned to somebody and it has a due date, that means they need to accept that as in progress. And we'll talk about that in another video. So for now, let's go to our list view. In my list view, what I like to have is the assignee, the due date, and the status. So over here, we have a task. And let's go ahead and assign that task to me. And let's make the due date for next week. Now I've assigned the task to me, and it's due Wednesday. So let's come over here, and let's go back to our folder. And here we go. This is awesome. So now I know this is assigned to me. It's due Wednesday. And of course, you can expand the subtasks there and assign them to different people. But all of a sudden now, I have an overview. And let's come down to um, a different one. Let's look at our GA4 tracking configuration. And let's say we have to get the um, do tag manager. Let's do the same thing. Let's make that do Friday. So now, all of a sudden, I have an idea of what's going on. So, all right, we have to set up tag manager. That's due Friday, complete the sales task. But I already started the sales tasks. So let's go ahead so now I'm starting to get a better idea of what's going on. So I have setting up tag manager is due Friday, complete the sales tasks Wednesday. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm actually rolling already with this. So let me change the status of tag manager to in progress. So now you can see we've got a very nice overview of our folder, again, of this specific project. We have what's to do, we have what's in progress. and. These are the things that are assigned and due. So that way now I know any other tasks are either are, do, are, do not have an assignee or they're not assigned and there's nothing due. So if nothing's due, then we don't have to get anything done. So if I want to look at this task overall and say, hey, what has to get done here from a, a project management point of view? I'm looking at the overview. If I want to see, well, what's going on on this list? Now I can see what's happening on this list. Same thing here. If I want to see what's happening on you know, the citation campaign, we're not up to that yet because you can't do a citation campaign until we've done the GMB primary optimization. So because we can't do that, this has to wait, so there's no point. Now, if you're an agency that might do this, that might say, okay, well, this is all going to get assigned to me. I didn't do that properly. This is get, all gets assigned to me. Well, okay, that's great, but that's not going to show here because... It doesn't have a due date yet. So if you're the type of agency that wants to say, here's a project and it's gonna be assigned to David or whoever throughout the process, great, no problem. Go ahead, assign this. But until you add a due date to it, it's not gonna show up. And if you were to get rid of this and add a due date, that's not gonna show up either because it doesn't have an assignee. So the overview there, I don't have an assignee, so it doesn't really count. It's not gonna get done. So that's how we do our overview of our folders and our lists, and lists are gonna be all the same. 
So there we have the folder view and there we have the list view. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we do the space view because that's gonna help us look at all of these projects.